Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hey Survivors, Makeshift here for the second time in two weeks doing an unboxing. Last time, of course, we opened up the, um, the prints for the Wasteland Weekend 2022 aerial map. This time is something completely different. So for a little while, I wanted to add some more items to the merch store that are a little bit more of that uh, apothecary which is a little play on words of apothe apothecary. Um, but basically, uh, last year I added the Eli's cat oil lip balms to the store and those have been doing really well. So I've wanted to add a few other things that are kind of play on that same theme. So what I've got here is two different wholesalers. Um, and I basically I ordered a bunch of samples of different stuff. So we're gonna see if we can't find um, some cool products in here for the store. And especially, I wanna see what kind of scents there are available and see if any of these are gonna match kind of what we're doing uh, with the post-apocalypse festivals. Like if there's, you know, kind of a natural smelling scent that doesn't smell like something modern. It smells like something you'll find um, you know, long after the fall. Anyway, let's get these opened up. I'm gonna spread everything out and then we'll just kind of start going through everything. So here we go. Okay. What in the world? So far I've got these three boxes. I don't even remember really what I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all part of the surprise, right? Oh, cool. All right. So it's a big old box of soaps and I'm very excited about that. Actually, it looks pretty neat. They really are just all sorts of different sizes. We'll come back to those. Which means I think I know what's in this box because when I put up on the Facebook, what products would you guys be interested in? I actually had a few pretty unique ideas come out from you guys. Um, and I wanted to see if I could oblige. So let's see what we got here. These are three different scents of beard bombs. And they sold these, the minimum order was four each. So uh, of course there will probably be a sample sale coming really soon. Oh, oh, that's bigger than I thought it would be. That's good. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Did I order a sixth one? I don't know. All right, I guess it's just five. I ordered five beard oils, so we're gonna check those out. That was actually a special request to add beard oils to the store. Let's open these up too. May as well get them unwrapped, right? We've got four of those, four of those. And I try to order as many different scents as possible. So all the beard bombs are totally different than the beard oils. So that could get, well, I guess that's eight different scents and two different products. So pretty cool so far. Another box. This one's gonna include not just samples of new products I wanna try, but I was waiting because when I ordered the Eli's Cat Oil Lip Balms, they had six cents available, but only three in stock. So I just got the three that they had in stock, figured, hey, let's test things out. They've actually been selling really well. So now I went back and ordered the three other flavors. So let's see what we got here. This is Vanilla Lip Balm. And of course they're blanks. So I have to add the labels to them. This one is gonna be Blue Raspberry, which I was actually surprised. I wasn't gonna order that one, but somebody said that they would love that one. And this one is Herbal Mint, and that's the one that I've been waiting for personally. So very excited to get those in. Cool, we've got a bunch of different products here. It's completely unlabeled though. Well, I guess I'll have to go back and see what the invoice says but I definitely like the bottle. They're, they're plastic, but nice and simple and ready to label. So we'll see what those are. I can't remember if these are the same or different. And then we've got some more soaps over here. So let's check these out. Now these soaps I ordered almost more for the way they looked than for the specific scents. 
because, you know, I was just kind of think of thinking of fun names for them. Uh, and I've got the invoice here, so let's see. Let's see if I can remember what, what it was that I ordered. This is gonna be body spray, and then this is gonna be body, no. Hold on, hair and body wash. This is hair and body wash, two in one. Mm, I don't know if girls are so into um, shampoo and body wash mixes, but guys definitely are. Makes things much more efficient. And then we have two body lotions. Um, one's gonna be tobacco vanilla, the other's gonna be oatmeal, milk, and honey, which is actually one of my favorite scents. And then, let's see, we've got, I'm just gonna put these in order just like this. These are kind of cool. I have a feeling these are going in the store anyway because I had to buy these by the box. These are actually um, the ends of soap, so they're a little bit more irregular, uh, but I'll probably pack them into like maybe three packs rather than singles, and that way I can get an average size rather than trying to, because check this out, because they're the ends, like one's that thick and one's that thick. But yeah, if I pack up like three of them together, and get three different sizes. Now I can start to get, you know, make sure everyone gets a fair, fair piece of soap. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's pull one of these out and let's open the other ones. And one of the reasons I was kind of excited to see that this company had these like odd ends is because they kind of fit the post-apocalypse theme like you know these are really nice and square and very even um but i but i almost feel like having these odd cuts is a little bit more post-apocalyptic i mean these almost look like just like raw um like coal <laughs> that you would pick up off the ground um and honestly a few of them kind of make a, a nice little like three of them are almost the same but a little bit bigger. So yeah, if I package three of those, that could be cool. Anyway, let's grab one of these. This is, oh, there we go. Black soap. And one more. Oh, I've got like a, like a tan one here. Pretty cool. This one is sandalwood bourbon. So I'll just put that like that. This one is activated charcoal. Um, not only is not only is charcoal kind of popular right now, it's been for a little while, um, but it also um, it also has a great look being a black soap. And then this is a Himalayan salt, which I was expecting to be a touch pink, I guess. I mean, there is some pink in there, um, but it's more like pink speckles. But it's actually a pretty creamy color. So this is actually really exciting. Um, because I spent days searching for all this stuff and now here it is and I get to touch it and smell it, which is really fun. Where should I start? <sighs> well, the soaps are gonna go in the store no matter what, especially these since I had to order so many of them. <laughs> so let's see what they smell like, if they even have a smell. All right, so first up is the Himalayan salt. Oh, what is that? It just smells really clean. I don't know how else to describe it. Like it doesn't have a strong scent. But yeah, really subtle, um, but really pleasant. Not very floral, not fruity. It's just really, like I said, it just smells clean. Let's try the activated charcoal. I kind of think this is gonna smell very lightly as well. All right, if this one had a light scent, this has almost no scent. Let me see, maybe it's a scratch and sniff. No, almost nothing, which is really interesting. Uh, I suppose it's really easy to have a signature scent of nothing <laughs> if we go that route. All right, and this one is the sandalwood bourbon. This one better have a smell. Oh, it does. Again, really light though, I'm kind of surprised. But yeah, that's, that's pretty pleasant. I'm gonna give it a little scratch as well, see if I can get it to stick out a little bit more. This one almost smells like a touch sweet, like the bourbon smell is adding a touch of a sweetness to it. The sandalwood has almost like a, like a, almost like a beachy driftwood kind of a smell, if that makes any sense at all. Um, so overall, I'm pretty psyched on those. Oh, and here's something. What if rather than doing 
like three charcoal together, I just package one of each of these together like that. I mean, they'll, they'll, the sizes will be a little different, but I'll make sure that the group of them <laughs> is pretty even. But yeah, what if I send these out as a trio? Do you guys think that would be pretty cool? Because I'm definitely adding those to the store because I had to buy so many. Um, and I don't mind adding in the extra soaps because they have a good long shelf life, you know? All right, what's next? Let's just work our way down. So next I've got um, beard oils and beard balms, and those are all coming from the same company. So all these different scents are available in the beard balm and the beard oil. My hope is that in this group, I will find one scent that I can order for all the beard products that will work as an apocalypse post scent. I'll start right here. And this is, um, once again, sandalwood bourbon, um, which I don't know, just that name, even though I got the soap and, and the beard balm here, it just kind of sounded like something that would work. So let's open this up. I also like the tins that these come in. Um, I love when the packaging is natural stuff, the glass, the paper, the metal, like we did with the um, Eli's Catawa lip balms. Uh, I loved getting the metal tins. I just think that the metal kind of adds that little little bit of extra that move it away from the modern world because it just plastic feels modern, right? But down the line, the glass can be reused and recycled. The metal will last. I mean, you know, I, maybe you guys will add a little rust to these. I don't know, um, just to make them look cool. But I think just having the natural metal um, works out pretty nice. So let's give this a scent, a, a little a little sniff. I like this quite a bit. It just has that nice, light, sweet, airy, driftwoody kind of a scent. Um, so I'm not I'm not mad at that one at all. Uh, this one here, this was a very popular. Um, basically, all of the um, distributors I, I tried had this. It's called Cedarwood Sage. And because Wasteland and a lot of post-apocalypse events take place in the desert, I figured that that sage, that cedarwood scent might kind of lend itself to the desert a little bit. So let's give it a smell. I feel like my nose isn't working. It smells good, though. I suppose when you're talking about like beard bombs, you kind of want it to be a little subtle because I did get one um, for myself recently when I started growing up the beard, my COVID beard. Not that it's full of COVID, just, I just grew it because of COVID. Um, but the beard bomb, the first beard bomb I got was actually heavily scented um, and it was almost a bit much. So smelling these that are a little bit more subtle is probably a good thing. All right, this is what's called their Defender Blend. Uh, and it just kind of sounded very apocalyptic <laughs> when you start thinking about, you know, defending things, I guess, defending your camp. Oh, now this one definitely sticks out. It has a bit more of like a, like a, like a green forest, like a pine forest kind of a smell. So this would be like a, if we're thinking about like wildlings or, or like Northern or Eastern tribes, this is kind of what that would smell like. That smells really good. It's not like a, it doesn't have like that pine saw pine smell. It's got more of just a wild forest kind of smell. Pretty good. So far, I'm happy with all of these. Any of these I think would work, um, but let's keep going. Cause I think, I think these beard oils might have a bit more of a scent to them. So this one's called leaf and clove. And it's got a dropper, but I'm not gonna use the dropper. Oh. I'm not sure how to describe it, but I like this one a lot. This one just reminds me of like a wood shop. Don't ask me why. I, I could not even tell you why, but it smells good. This one's what they call Stone Mountain. And don't worry, I'm gonna be renaming all of these scents to something a little bit more <laughs> post-apocalyptic. But uh, for now, this I'm just going with their scents because that's what they have written on them. So let's see what Stone Mountain smells like. Well, this one just kind of sound smells like, um, like a cologne that you would get in um, like JCPenney. <laughs> so that one is not one of my favorites so far. The Leaf and Clove I think was working. Uh, citrus, cedar, sage. 
So kind of like the cedarwood sage, only we're adding in the citrus. I, I have high hopes for this. Um, this was another very popular scent that I noticed in uh, beard products. Yeah, yeah, so it's got that, that same like desert forest smell, but you add in that citrus and the citrus makes it pretty bright. Uh, it almost smells like a cocktail, like that you would get at a, at a, a, a like a speakeasy bar, like a cocktail forward bar. I'm pretty into that one. This next one, uh, the name kind of made me think that it's a, a shoe in, right? It's called Tobacco Flower. Um, I don't imagine it's going to smell like cigarettes or anything like that, but the, the, the flower of the tobacco plant is supposed to be pretty nicely smelling, so let's find out. That one smells pretty sweet. It's almost like, it's almost like halfway to a perfume. Definitely has some more, I mean, scents aren't really masculine or feminine. It's just, that's the way they're marketed. And this one has a touch more of like a feminine scent to it. But not overbearing. It's actually really nice. I don't know. I'm gonna put that one kind of maybe. So those are the no's. These are the yeses. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of gum, maybe. Uh, all right, this last one here is called Old Glory, uh, which I'm really hoping isn't gonna be like an Old Spice kind of smell, but it was hard to tell what it would smell like from the internet. This is another one that smells a lot like a cologne or like a aftershave. It has a cool scent, really pleasant. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily post-apocalyptic, so I'm gonna put that up here with the Stone Mountain because that those two are very cologne smelling. I'm gonna come back to the leaf and clothes. Now I'm just gonna go back and figure out which one I like the most. Oh, this is gonna be so hard. I do like um, the woody, natural, like things that you would find at one of the festival smells. So like, when you're talking about wood and bourbon, that just makes a whole lot of sense. The cedarwood sage makes a ton of sense. The leaf and clove makes a ton of sense. Let me try the defender one more time. Maybe I can knock this one out of the out of the running. No, that's really nice. Oh, it's so hard. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to get some second and third opinions on these. I think. All right, I'm gonna leave those for now because my nose is probably a little destroyed. You know what I'm gonna do? I learned this. Where did I learn this? At a candle shop or something. You need to cleanse your palate. <laughs> so I'm gonna come over here and just grab a cup of coffee. Not a cup of coffee, but a bag of coffee. And just kind of reset, because it's getting hard. Oh boy. Let's keep, let's keep going, let's keep going. All right, so coming back to my list here, Let's see, the moisturizers, this is still from the same company, the moisturizers are in tobacco, vanilla, and oatmeal, milk, and honey. I'm really hoping that it'll be pretty easy to figure out which one's which here. Oh, this is not gonna be easy. I'm gonna guess this is the oatmeal. Oatmeal, milk, and honey. Just smells sweet. Delicious, <laughs> kind of nice. I like that quite a bit. And let's see, so I'm guessing this is the tobacco vanilla. But I'm wondering now, is it tobacco or is it tobacco flour? <sighs> Cause it actually smells like cinnamon. And they're not marked. How would you even know? It's serious. It smells like, like you have sweet cinnamon that you're putting on rice pudding. Maybe that's the oatmeal, milk, and honey. I don't know. They're both nice though. This is so much harder than I thought. And I guess that's what I get for getting unlabeled things. I just can't believe that there's not like a something telling me which one's which. All right, here's the perfume body spray. This one because I'm imagining it to be more for um, like a green place kind of a scent, that kind of thing. I got gardenia. 
Very perfumey, really nice. It smells like you're just walking into a room full of flowers. All right, so back in the day, the reason why people would wear flowers to like weddings and, and surround uh, themselves with flowers at a funeral was literally because flowers smelled nice. So you would make your body smell nice for things like weddings and, and funerals could, you know, before uh, modern scientific embalming methods, uh, the corpse would probably start to smell a little bit. So you would fill the room with flowers to help mitigate that. All that to say, in a post-apocalyptic environment where you don't have access to like showers or soap, although I'm trying to help that situation out. Um, but if you're not washing routinely, you're gonna smell pretty bad. And I think this is the exact scent that people would cover their bodies in if they had like a post-apocalyptic wedding or a funeral or something like that. So <laughs> I guess, um, you know, a lot of times post-apocalyptic stuff steals a lot of stuff from like history, right? Cause you get the dark ages uh, all the way back to like caveman time. And that's pretty much the way things would be. And so you can take some of the things that people used to do and use them again. Uh, that's why like old Western themes pop up a lot during post-apocalypse because it would be the wild, wild west again. So I'm actually kind of interested in adding that body spray um, as, you know, as long as things work in the theme, that's really what I'm going for. And last thing, this is the, um, the hair and body wash. I got Bay Rum. Someone actually said that they were interested in the Bay Rum scent. So let's see what this smells like. Oh, that's actually really fun. It definitely has that like cocktail kind of a scent. Really nice, a touch floral, very fruity, but still um, not really overly feminine, not overly masculine either, just kind of right down the middle. And I think that, you know, the, the scents that aren't necessarily masculine or feminine are gonna work really well for Wastelanders. I mean, the beard oils, we'll, we'll try to keep things a little bit masculine for you fellas. I'm happy with all of these scents so far but narrowing them down is gonna be hard, that's for sure. Okay, then what? All right, so that was all one wholesaler and I'm pretty happy with most of it. I'm gonna reset my palette again with some coffee. And then I wanna smell these soaps over here. So we had the three soaps that are gonna be in the store no matter what, uh, and here's some more samples. And I kinda got these, I think I said earlier, I got these more because of the colors. So check this out, like obviously the black, um, is going to work. But then I was thinking, you know, like one of these could be like desert sands soap. Although that one's pink, but <laughs> like this could be a desert sands. Um, this could be like bloat fly guts, you know, that kind of thing. Um, this one is called Dead Sea Mud Scrub. So I was thinking like, you know, obviously Dead Sea just feels like it fits. Um, this green one could be more of a Last of Us fungus soap, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I think that the colors of these are really nice, but I do like that these are rough cut. It's, it's kind of wild. Anyway, let's see. This one's called Summer Citrus. It has a slight citrus scent. None of these are like overly scented, and I think that's probably a good thing. This one's called Pine Tar. Oh, that definitely has the pine tar smell. It's like not just pine, but it kind of smells like the sap. It doesn't smell like pine needles. It smells like the sap. Uh, this is just called black soap. It has a slight perfume smell. And that's about it. Going back for some coffee. My uh, olfactory glands are getting a good workout today. This one's called Jamaica Me Crazy. I have no idea what it's supposed to smell like. It smells like berries or like, like a fruity cocktail. Like when you go down to New Orleans and you get like a daiquiri, that's kind of what it smells like. Uh, this is an oatmeal, milk and honey. It smells, smells very different than the other oatmeal, milk and honey, which is kind of wild, but I like that. This one's called Petal Dance, Petal Dance. Oh yeah, it's just very floral. Smells like a garden. Uh, this one was cool, fresh aloe. Yep, and that's what it smells like. And aloe plant, I think, is another very fitting scent for uh, post-apocalypse because um, 
Aloe is one of those super famous plants. It grows in the desert. It's basically, it's not quite a cactus, but it's really close. Um, and it is a natural healer. So it would be considered a natural medicine right away. It's really good for your skin if you get a sunburn or any kind of a burn, um, dry skin. It does stink though. If you've ever actually had the aloe right off an aloe plant, it is pretty stinky. This one, not stinky. This is definitely a, a perfumed aloe of some kind. This is called eucalyptus aloe. And once again, I like the color of this. It just kind of feels like, um, like it's made with sand, which I think is super fitting. You know, I always forget what eucalyptus smells like until I smell it again. It's got a nice scent, super natural. Just smells like nice cut wood. And then back to the Dead Sea mud scrub. And that smells like hippies. Like when you go into a natural store, <laughs> this, this, that's exactly what this smells like. It smells like, um, like incense and that kind of thing. So, wow. I thought this was gonna be really easy to decide on scents, but it's actually way harder than I thought it would be. I don't know if I'm gonna make any decisions today. This is really hard. I probably have soap all over my face because a little bit's rubbing off. I might. It would be really funny if I just kind of had that like crack dealer, just like white stuff all down my lip right now. But I'm excited about these new lip balms because one, I've needed a, a new set for myself and two, I'm really excited to get them in the store. And I'm just gonna lay these out like this. These are all just gonna be mine, so don't worry. I'm not gonna like sell you guys one that I've had my nose in. Um, but let's do, I'm gonna do blue raspberry first. And it really is blue. Oh yeah, and it smells just like a freaking kid's candy. Oh, that's gonna be great. That's fun. Oh, doesn't, I mean, it shouldn't taste good, right? Because then you would just lick it right off your lips. You don't really taste it, but you definitely smell it, and that is really fun. This one is the vanilla. And some vanilla, I'm not crazy about some vanilla scents, but this is really nice. It's not like that bright, uh, like vanilla extract. It actually has that almost like warm vanilla cookie kind of a smell. Mm. And for any of you guys that have, um, bought these lip, lip balms yet. They're like shea butter and cocoa butter. They're super natural um, ingredients. Um, there is no petroleum products in them at all. So they're just really nice to put on your lips and they work really well. And then last but not least, the one I was looking forward to the most, the herbal mint, which has that light green. Um, and I'm hoping it kind of smells like spearmint because the other ones that I got were peppermint, but spearmint is my favorite. I don't smell it. There it is. Just had to reset. Oh yeah, it's great. These are awesome. I'm super excited to get them in the store. Um, I'll probably do the same thing again. Like these will come, the three of these will come in a set uh, and the other three will continue to come in a set as well. I don't know if it's worth doing a set of six. That seems like a lot, but let me know what you guys think. If you want me to sell a set of six, I totally will. Uh, but I do need to still get some labels made for these. So that's going to take a little while because I, uh, well, I guess I, I could have gotten a jump on that and I just didn't. Um, in the meantime, let's see, I'm going to put these up on the store as a three pack. So I'm going to get these up in the store. Give me a couple weeks because I am going to come up with a great way to wrap them so that they kind of have that cool wasteland theme. As far as the beard oils and beard bombs, I'm not going to tell you I'm making a decision yet because I think I need to smell some more uh, and maybe take a little break and come back to them. But let me know if any of those scents sound good to you guys. I'm kind of leading towards sandalwood bourbon and cedarwood sage. Oh, and Defender. Oh, it's so hard. I can't decide. Um, as far as the soaps go, I'm going to start with these. And then if they do well, I will order some more and just keep going so and then as far as like the shampoo body wash the body mist and the lotions i think the body mist and gardenia is perfect so if you guys are interested in that let me know and i will get some of those in the store the hand lotions or the body lotions i wonder if that tobacco vanilla and the tobacco flower 
smell similar. They do. All right, I figured it out. Tobacco vanilla, tobacco flower. I'm not crazy about either of those scents anyway, but I would probably do the hand lotions in one of the other scents that I'm gonna get. So, I don't know. I'm gonna need some feedback from you guys. But I think that's about it. Thanks for coming along. Uh, I'm gonna probably dive a little bit deeper into these scents, see which ones are really um, working. I'm gonna have some friends come by and put their nose to the test as well, see what they think and start throwing some up in the store. Thanks for watching. Um, it's kind of, it's really exciting to add some more products for you guys, uh, especially if I can, you know, throw some themes on them and make it so that they're kind of fun. Yeah, it's just really cool that there's really great products out there that I can search and find. Uh, and not only are they really cool and they're gonna be uh, fun to theme out and do, and do some new logos and designs for, but also they're just, probably a little bit better for you than what you can find in the store and better for the earth, which, you know, for a post-apocalypse guy, um, you know, it is important to take care of our world. That is it. Um, let me know what you think. Leave a feedback, subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay alive.